time, there is one group of girls in Little Elm, and they've been working so hard on their jump rope skills for two very special reasons. Photojournalist Mike Kenny is introducing us to the unicorn jumpers and explains. I doing good, but speed it up just a little bit, and it needs to be rounded at the top. I like jumping in the rope and like doing different kind of tricks. Unicorn jumpers, yes, that's me. The Unicorn Jumpers Double Dutch Squad is a double dutch and dance team. We uh, practice double dutch with the girls. We teach them new tricks in a rope as well as different TikTok dances. I just wanted to do something athletic outside of school. Just being able to play, just let all your energy out. Yes, that's me. We jump all day to remain healthy. For the girls, it's like bridging a gap between our generation and theirs. TikTok, TikTok. I have always been passionate about double dutch. And I started the Unicorn Jumpers shortly after uh, my husband and I, our baby girl, was murdered. Um, so I decided to start this youth program in memory of her. Her name is Kariah. She was murdered at eight years old because she was our little unicorn. We actually have a picture of Kariah over there, so they know that this is based around Kariah. Five, four, three, two, one. It's a way for us to honor someone that was very special and very close to us. I think it gives us the opportunity to just honor her memory um, by working with these young ladies. Chris Proff. <laughs> Good job. And right now we are preparing to compete in a double dutch competition held by the International Double Dutch League. To get to this point where we've been invited to, to compete, that's awesome. I'm so excited to go to a competition because I feel like we've worked really hard and I know we're capable of doing anything we set our minds to. I'm excited but a little bit nervous. Speed it up. Speed it up. We have a little bit over a month to go for them to compete and I'm confident that they're going to go and they're going to get a win. Good job, ladies. Who remembers those days, right? The Unicorn Jumpers, by the way, they're heading to Chicago next month, and they are the only team from Texas in the competition, so we are wishing them well.